Right, what's up guys, it's Andy, and today I'm going to tell you my new render settings for Sony Vegas. So, you want to go to Project Properties, and you want to either make sure it's HDV 72030p with uh, 1280 by 720 or I have it at 640 by 360 because I don't want to stretch it that much. So, I'll have it at uh, 1280 by 720 or 640 by 360 so I click apply and it and it would just make it it make it widescreen so next you want to get a clip so my clips in here is just a quick Resident Evil 5 clip also important is to make sure that um, that the renders the deinterlace method is at blend right, as you can see um, at the bottom there's like a greenish like distortion and on the side there's two black bars. Now to rectify the two black bars you want to just right click, go to properties and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and it stretch it. So next what you want to do is you want to get rid of the tiny little lines at the side. So let's try and make this a bit bigger. So you want to get what take off these tiny little lines. So you want to go to event pan and crop and you'll just crop off the bottom. Hang on, it's a bit of a bad scene to do it, to uh, see. Right, so you want to crop the side off a bit until everything is cool. Like that. And you want to just double check it by going through your clips. And it, sh and it should be fine. So next you want to add a, you want to go to video event effects. And you want to click color corrector, and you just press OK. Now you want to make this at you want to set the saturation to 1.789. I put it at. And it just gives it that little tinge of color. Gives it more more color, more depth. Hang on, that's a bit too much. Let's try that. It gives it that tiny bit more color. So you can see from this scene, much better. So, there's the color corrector and render settings wise. So, just highlight that bit to render prop to render, and you don't want it taking as long as WMV or a uh, Sony AVC. You click video for Windows AVI. Make sure it's on default template uncompressed. You want to go to custom. Um, for video, you want to use project settings. You want to set it at whatever frame rate you want. Keep these two pixel aspect ratio and field order. You're gonna go to video format and go to DivX 6.8.5 codec to logical CPUs. And you want to make sure you got these encoding settings like 600 kbps, encoding presets one, that sort of thing. Uh, you want to make sure this is at well 250. And for audio, you want to keep PCM uncompressed unless you want to compress it. I just keep it a PCM uncompressed and for video rendering you just click use project settings and that's about it you just want to click save and it will go up and it will wait that long it took about 10 it took about 12 minutes for a 10 minute file it's really quick and it's very helpful for people who um, want to render their dazzle but they don't want to like, take so as you can see, this is a three minute file and looks only at 429, 20, 429, look, it's going down. Chin, this has been Andy Boy here, and comment, rate, and subscribe. Damn it, the gate's closed. See what you two can do to keep it open.
pipe! Get down! <laughs> 